really large amount of energy uh, to, to free space. Um, so one of the questions we were exploring is, uh, so what do you think is the most important step for us to attain free energy vehicles and devices? And uh, I was just pointing out, since I don't know the answer to that question at all, <laughs> I was just pointing out that, well, the first step is that you've got to realize that there is this tremendous amount of energy that mm -hmm. permeates all of the universe, that, that, that the free space has a, a very high energy density. So the energy is there, you know, so th that's the first step. You've got to come to that realization. And then as you're showing, the physics works out. And right. then you can start doing Then you the, got the roadmap. The roadmap to, to get the technology. Right, exactly. Because now you know how it works. So now you know what you got to do to reproduce it, to tap into it. Um, that's like the critical part. That's why I've done experiments for 20 years, but at the same time, in parallel, I've been doing physics because <coughs> the physics are required. And, um, and, but although, you know, by deduction and some instinctive notion, you might get to, to devices that work. Uh, but if the physics are not with it, then it's really hard to get them into the world because then people say it's not possible, you know, all this stuff. But if you have the physics to demonstrate it, then the world can do a, a very strong effort to get there very quickly um, because it's a straight roadmap. And, you know, I was thinking about it more in your field, William, you know, and Ines as well, because I know she's interested since she's doing all these consciousness experiments over there in Mexico. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, you know, I, it makes me think of, you, if I want to translate it to my being, right? It makes me think like a person has like this ultimate source, right? Of consciousness, like their, their, their super self, you know, where they're weak, they're wearing a cape and they're like, Superwoman, Superman, you know, like they're like, ta ta ta, you know, like you know, they're the master of all masters. They they all, you know, like when when a baby comes out, it comes out like that, right? Somewhat, but then you know, there's there's um there, you know, there's a there's a certain amount of screening. There's a certain amount of disorder, right? There's a certain amount of veils, you know that are like so so the access to this like ultimate you know source is like a very specific path you know meaning there's very specific things you got to do to get past the screening and to get into that ultimate state right and, uh, and if you know those techniques and if you know those tools you can get there right but uh, but you have to make the effort you have to like you said you first have to know that there's a superhero in you right you you have to know it's there because otherwise you're just in the screening you're just in the noise and it's like okay there's some energy but it's a little bit decoherent and there's not that much right so so but then when you know it's there then you, then there's then you have to know the mechanics on how to like get past the screening and uh, and and um and so so it's not even just in the technology it's even in the way like basically we're on the entropic side of the event horizon where we're we're on the side in which things tend to go to decoherency and tends to go you know, like there's a lot of thermodynamics, like there's a lot of, you know, diffusion of energy, right? And we have to get back to the source where actually it's negentropic on that side, right? It's negentropic. And on that side, that's the creative side that creates organization and coherency, both in our consciousness and in our technology. It's so awesome that the, 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 the same, same principles, principles that can, that can be applied. applied. Oh, I've got an echo going. Uh, the same principles that can be applied for uh, generating the technology 
they apply it nearly directly to personal uh, growth. Uh, you can attain the, nearly the exact same principles to achieve that maximum coherent state, that uh, uh, superhero state uh, in yourself. It's really, uh, I think, a profound equivalence there. And um, I, I think so, something that uh, is just as important as the technology and theoretical side of the understanding is how to apply it personally to bring yourself into that um, that that super conducting, uh, su su super efficient state of your being. I guess that would also connect with the fact that if we um, understand it deeply, deeply enough, we could become the technology itself, like a consciousness technology. We could go directly to that in if we, we reach that state, which would be amazing. Absolutely. And I, I think that many masters across the ages have done that. Um, and they were, I think in some ways, you know, precursor to the technology. I think you have to definitely do a certain amount of that before your society reach those levels of technology because you got to come up with the, the math and the physics, right? Because you need that for the technology. So, you know, it really is an amazing thing. It's like the universe is fail safe. If a civilization doesn't reach, but there's, it's, it's on a time scale though. If a society doesn't reach that level of awareness on time, then they run out of resources right on their planet there's overpopulation all kinds of problems happen and you and that society or there's a meteorite that comes too close or there's a sun flare or whatever you know they get wiped out recycled you know they recycle the universe recycle all the atoms they don't go anywhere they just you know disorganize and reorganize just right? try again <laughs> yeah try again later exactly <laughs> <laughs> exactly so hopefully we make it on this cycle i'd like that i, I really don't want to do another one of these <laughs> also we, we were still kind of in the middle of uh discussing with uh christiana altrian yeah. um about uh, what do you think is the most important step for us to attain free energy vehicles and devices. And I think that's a good one uh, to, to approach it from and discuss it because, you, you know, um, we, we can kind of lay a more general foundation for what needs to be done to get to, you know, um, uh, uh, utilizing this, this free energy that, that is the field. Yeah, um, so, so there's two parts to the question. What was the first part? <laughs> um, sorry. Yeah. So um, the first part was uh, the move, the the uh, technology that you discussed in Thrive Two. All right. Uh, oh, so so yeah. So well, I that wasn't my section, right? Uh, oh, the technology in, in our laboratories. Well, a lot of things are moving forward. It's very exciting, and you know I would say that um, I know I've been saying this for a while, but it's on its way. Um, you know, um, the art crystal is, you know, might look, um, you know, trivial, but it really is a first step. But um, there is amazing technology that's following through and we're in the middle of doing um, a lot of really important research, but as well, I've been concentrating mostly on uh, theoretical uh, sections because that needs to be finished and that's taken a lot of my time. But there is advancements that are happening on the technological level that's really, really happening. And like, what is it gonna take? It's gonna take the world population to endorse the uh the research efforts at the deepest level you know it and and not like in their consciousness but first of all realizing oh there is a source 
you know, like you were saying earlier, oh, we <laughs> there is a source. And then, oh, how do we access it? Oh, well, we need the scientists to be well-funded. We need good efforts. We need international efforts. We need, you know, we can get there. I swear to you guys, I swear we can get there. Okay, like I wouldn't say this lightly. You know, I, I really wouldn't. And people, I, you know, like, it, first of all, I know because it's, I've seen it, but I as well, you know, I, I know because it's clearly happening everywhere in the universe. <laughs> they're called atoms, you know, they, they're called protons, they're called, right? So it's clearly happening. We just got to like figure out the mechanics of it and then apply it. And we have now the theoretical tenants, but, and, and it, the economical, like the, the financial structures and the political structure have to endorse it and, and go, you know? And, you know, I was thinking about that driving yesterday and I was thinking, wow, you know, how many years was I told that, you know, and many others that, you know, it was like, UFOs were not real and that like I was insane for thinking that such things existed and if they did they probably couldn't get to earth because they were too far from earth and all this stuff and like, and now you know it's like all of a sudden <laughs> because a few documents leaked out of the Pentagon and then eventually the Pentagon admitted to them and then eventually the media the mainstream media picked up on it. Now it's like very serious. I mean, it's very, very serious. The 60 Minutes did a great episode on it. And, you know, the, it's been talked on five o'clock news, you know, what's going on in our skies and all this. And the pilots that were there are clearly saying, you know, from what they were doing, <laughs> there is no way this is, you know, some other country technology or ours or anything like that um so this is so you know how many so 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 clearly these people figured it out right <laughs> whoever they are <laughs> clearly they figured it out and and clearly their civilization made it past this point right because Clearly, they can get off the surface of their planet at ease since they can come to ours and get off at ease. They don't need thousands of tons of fuel. They don't need, they don't need like, you know, to burn massive amount of stuff. And, you know, so clearly it's doable. So he, he, let's just say just that, just, just that it's doable, right? <laughs> Um, now, does is it a thousand year from now? I don't think so, right? Clearly, what they figured, at least one thing they figured, is how gravity works and how to play with gravity, how to alter gravity so that it works. So, so, so open your mind. Right, like you know, just like it was hard for people to imagine when I used to start to talk about UFOs and extraterrestrial life. I remember in the 90s and the 2000, early 2000, it was like my audience, my audience would shut off. Right, I could feel the energy change, it's like it was too much, right. But now it's starting to like, people are starting. So it's, it's all of us that's going to bring this into the world. But we have to ourselves be capable of doing, of going there. We have to see that in our future. And then we have to take actions to support that in our future.